Hey guys, welcome back. Um, some big news, some big news. Uh, the digits over the weekend came on up on the subscribers and uh, we just passed 8,000 subscribers. It's unfrickin' believable. Uh, when I got on YouTube just over 10 years ago, I basically got on YouTube so that I could sit down watch my videos, you know, after I had a session with my buddies and we'd just gone out so that I could enjoy it, you know, and so that I could share it with my friends when uh, other people started watching and, and viewing and enjoying and being influenced by these videos, it was just unreal. So throughout the years I've stuck with the same kind of format, I like it simple, you know, no flashy this, flashy that. Uh, I know a lot of people are into that and they, they like it and it looks great, you know, like I watch a lot of videos with a lot of editing and all that sort of thing and it's great, it has its, uh, has its place, you know, and it's really professional looking and whatnot, but uh, I stick it plain, plain as you. Um, not due to the fact that I, I wouldn't be able to do this kind of weird editing or anything and zoom in and all that sort of stuff, but uh, yeah, I just like to watch a video, not get dizzy sit back and uh, watch what's in the actual video. Um, today I... Uh, so I, w I wanted to thank you. I wanted to thank you guys. 8,000 people have gone ahead and subscribed uh, to the channel for whatever reasons, like whether it be jet boats, snow cats, uh, scale trucks, uh, definitely not airplanes, because anytime I throw an airplane video on the channel, it flops. Nobody's watching that, so I think there's like five guys that watch that on my channel. Um, that's actually why I started a whole separate channel um, called Four Mods Aerials, and you can probably check that out over here in the link. I might be over on this side. I don't know. Whatever. I'll leave a little link up here on the top, and you can check that out after this video, because uh, I just wanted to go over some of my jet boats, because there's a uh, a new jet boat that's coming out and I'm really excited about it. It's the Pro Boat. I'm sure a bunch of you have seen the advertisements for it. Uh, it looks great. It looks really good and it's probably going to rejuvenate my love for these, uh, these little boats here. Um, so once you're done subscribing to the other channel, uh, that would be great to do that because it's, I don't know, it's stuck at like 60 subscribers or something like that. It would be nice to get that thing up to at least 100. So go ahead, go ahead over to 4 Mods Aerials if you're into the aerial photography stuff. Uh, I'm doing a lot of drone stuff on there now. I'm going to be getting better at FPV. Uh, I'm doing a lot of that now. Like I'm really heavily into wearing the goggles and flying right now. But uh, you probably noticed that because I posted a few of those kind of videos over here. Back to the boats. Okay, so I want to show you the boats because I've been into the boats for years and years and years. I, I, I even like had competitions years back with a bunch of buddies. We'd get together, set up a course, and what I would do, uh, I would basically just put a marker rock at the top. You'd have to pick your line up one side, make it around the rock, and then travel back down, and we just time it. Um, one of our last competitions, uh, the weather kind of turned for the worst, the water levels started to rise, boats were getting sunk, people were getting wet, but everybody stuck it out, and I think that last competition just totally destroyed everybody, because i would never seen anybody jet boat after that. They're probably jet boating on their local rivers or whatever, but there was no more competitions beyond that one competition. That was like the end of it, for now. For now, it may come back. Like I wouldn't mind doing that all over again. The whole jet boat, get a jet boat series going, you know, or something like that. That'd be cool. Just have like a four series in the summer or something like that. Because I have a feeling this pro boat is definitely going to bring the hype back to these boats, and I'll be able to fix some of the boats that, uh, well, my original boat, which was uh, made from, hello Pedro, made from Rick's. House of Boats, it's the original uh, Joe at Custom Boat. In my original videos, it's pretty, pretty uh, nicely detailed. It doesn't have a drive right now, so that Pro Boat drive would probably fit in there nicely and uh, get this thing coming along really good. 
haven't done anything with this thing for years. What I had planned to do with that one originally was I would bought one of the duck drives from the ProBook Ducks and uh, they had a little drive but I never ended up setting it up like that whole drive is still in here brand new just sitting here it's a bit smaller drive I would have had to fill in the bottom slightly to, to make it work but it would have worked um, I also had these ride plates made by Travis Viola out in the valley they are absolutely wicked they're gonna be on this boat and most likely this one too and they also came with a grate as well which is quite nice and he's probably gonna be selling these so if you get into boats and you find that you're damaging what it does is it just fits over the back of your boat alright Pedro just fits over the back of your boat so that it protects your your drive from any anything down below and go like that so you can see how it would fit off the edge kind of protecting your your drive from any debris and rock off the back there really good idea and it actually helps with driving a lot of the times like it'll uh, it'll allow your your boat to rake forward I know a lot of times people will set these boats up and they'll get them out on the water and they'll be skating side to side well if you get a ride plate that definitely helps out these ones are flat so you need to bend it a little when you put it on just to make sure it's nice and flush but you know it's easy enough to do once you know what boat you're gonna put it on because they all might not be just you know ever so slightly different so that's easy enough to do and then uh, my I guess my second oldest boat is this guy here my little Grominator sticker on there, he's a pretty cool guy. But uh, this one here has the has one of those Gropner drives, which is a reversible drive. So on the third channel, I just flick the switch, this thing pops down, and then the air gets pumped into the buckets so I could actually reverse with this boat. I think I've got a couple videos up there um, on YouTube on in my jet boat section showing me backing up with this thing and that's a lot of fun I haven't used this boat a lot lately but uh, it's definitely going to be one that gets the ride plate along with you know more sessions coming up like I said that pro boat I'm excited for it once I seen the ads for it I was, I was getting pretty hyped on it that's for sure and then it uh, leads me up to my Brinksman and this thing here is a kick ass beautiful handcrafted boat from the UK look at this look at that thing all carbon fiber absolutely beautiful just beautiful this thing is a speed rocket okay like this brings me the uh, the brings me is this a speed rocket um, if you want a fast, fast boat, this thing can run on four cell. So I gotta get more batteries because I only had three cell. Uh, I had four cell, but I left them for too long and they died. But I'm gonna get some new four cell, and this thing is just an absolute rocket. It doesn't turn as nice as the, uh, believe it or not, the the NQDs, just because of the the rake in the bottom. I believe like it, you get into you can turn, but when you get into steep, sharp carves it tends to flip out a bit so I don't know if that has anything to do with you know just the overall design it's kind of a flat flat bottom in the back section here with a, a bit of a, a V up front but it's absolutely an awesome boat and that's Mark Mark sells these things he's got a whole bunch of new designs I just watched he's got a self writing design out right now that you should definitely check out I'll leave a link in the description as well as maybe up here um, super awesome quality really 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 cool stuff he, I think he's 3d printing a bunch of the uh, the hardware now like that fits onto the, the nozzles and stuff and I I've beaten the crap out of this thing like I drove it full speed into rocks and it's like just barely barely even did a, a slight damage to this thing like it's absolutely bomb proof you're not gonna wreck this kind of boat that's for sure and I've hammered it in the rivers on the rocks and it's been
fine. Like the bottom definitely, like it shows that I've been skidding it around a bit. Like you can't really see it, of course, because it's so damn nice, but shiny. But uh, I, I've taken this thing through some pretty good uh, moments, I guess you can say. And I need to get it out again. Um, they're all running like, uh, this guy here runs an outrunner. That one is an uh, inrunner. Um, I think this one here was like something like a 1800 kV, so it has to be run on a 4 cell with, it's got like some car 100 amp ESC and just cheap servos that are waterproofed. Um, uh, the new, the new system that I'm going to put in this, I'm not quite sure, I'll probably just get something cheap, like an airplane ESC maybe that I have kicking around with another, you know, in runner 3000 kV so I can run it on 3 cell and it'll be fine. Um, and then the new Pro Boat, I'll be excited. I'll be doing a video about that for sure, guaranteed when that thing comes out. Um, really excited about that. Uh, if you have any questions about the boats, please leave it down in the description, or no, no, don't leave it in the description, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, I will leave all the information that I can to Mark's information, some of the links to the other videos, so you can check those out if you haven't yet. Um, that's about it, I think, for, for this one. Thanks again, 8,000. That's unfreaking believable. 8,000 subscribers. All you guys out there just checking this stuff out. It's really, really cool. And uh, I appreciate it. You know, like, I never thought that I'd even get 5,000. Now it's at 8,000. Guess what's coming next? Like 10,000, 20,000, you know, like right on. It's, it's cool sharing with all these people, you know. So, uh, uh, smash a thumbs up. Hopefully you like this video. I know it's fairly vague about uh, what's in these things, although I did kind of explain the motors and whatnot. If you have any other questions about it, like I said, comments, comment, 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 ask questions. Um, maybe I'll start doing a weekly question and answer if there's enough comments on any of the videos or something like that that seems to be pretty popular with people right now and you guys want to know what these trucks and cars and boats and all that stuff are running because if you want to invest your time and all that stuff into it you may as well know what you're getting into right and we've used it all so uh, take it easy like I said smash a thumbs up if you're not subscribed please do so it costs nothing it's it's free. I'm subscribed to so many people and I enjoy these videos and it's great because I get to watch you guys having fun too. So uh, that's about it. Take it easy and uh, thanks again.